Well, more and more older West Aussies are packing their bags and heading overseas in search of a better, cheaper retirement in their golden years. Many living a life of luxury for a fraction of what the same would cost here back home. Joining us now for a bit of a chat about this is Dr Amanda Davies from Curtin University. Amanda, good morning to you. Uh, good morning, how are you? I'm well, thanks. Looking forward to a retirement somewhere sunny and tropical, like many others. Have you got any idea what sort of a, a number we're talking about here and where are they all going? Uh, the figures are hard to come by because people are using a variety of visa arrangements. Um, we think that the greatest population of Australians at the moment, um, retiree Australians, are living in Bali and we think that's around three or four thousand. Uh, myself and my colleague Dr. Dr Aileen Hoth have been looking at this for um, a few years now, trying to get the figures and trying to identify why people are, are making that move away from Australia to um, the Asia Pacific region. What's your theory at the moment? Is it financial? Is that the, the primary motivator for them? Uh, it's a combination of factors. So they're, they're looking at finances and, and what money they have available to them for their retirement and very strategically uh, thinking, how am I going to get most leisure lifestyle that I can for the amount of money that I've got? So in places like Bali, you can get very good quality housing that's well located, uh, maybe with your own pool, with your own in-home staff for a much lower cost than you could in Australia. In fact, many people just couldn't afford that in Australia. Um, it also has a desirable climate and, um, and access to really nice um, amenity or high amenity environments. So that's the reason why people are moving. They're very selective in their destination choices. You're selling it pretty well. I think I might be signing up for this, Amanda. We're just seeing some pictures of some pretty idyllic uh, scenic situations there. People on the beach going for a surf, drinking a cocktail and a hammock. Is that the reality there or is there a downside to this as well? Uh, people are conscious that as they physically age, uh, it is going to be, um, you're going to face things like the potential of a stroke or heart attack and other, other medical issues that none of us want to deal with but is actually a reality of life. So most people that we spoke to were very aware of that. They had a plan in, in place um, for what to do later on, which included returning to Australia or um, utilising in-home health. Um, care or accessing the very high quality um, private health care that's available throughout the Asia Pacific region. Um, so whilst people are younger and physically able, yes it does seem to be the case that they're enjoying the sun and the surf and the sand um, and, and delaying what's going to happen later <laughs> on in life. No harm in that. Of course the other advantage Amanda is that they, uh, they don't blow all the inheritance for the kids as well if they go somewhere cheaper. <laughs> I think I think they're so questionable. So they're going somewhere cheaper for housing and daily living expenses, but not necessarily saving that money that's being saved. So we are seeing yeah. that group travelling throughout the region, going on cruises and, and in really enjoying life with that money that's theoretically saved. So I'm sorry, yeah. sorry inheritors. <laughs> Fair <laughs> play to the them. Case. Yeah. The pina coladas all add up in the end. Thanks very much for your time this morning, Amanda.